So in this lecture, we'll go into creating our first program <coughs> that has actually uh, some function. So let's build a password secured program, and we'll call it uh, hidden.py. So pi is the extension. Uh, I'm using this editor, but uh, you can use any editor you want. Uh, if you don't have any Python editor, have a look at the previous video on uh, one of the earlier videos on Python editors. You might prefer PyCharm or some graphical editor. This works for me. So the first thing we want to do is to ask a password. Uh, to do so, we can call the function raw input which ask a string input. So this is for Python 2. Uh, if you're using Python 3, you can simply type uh, this instead, so without a row. Then uh, we have to store this input. So call it input, uh, call it um, key. And uh, we can directly print it. So that's how we get keyboard inputs, not only for password, but uh, for general uh, keyboard inputs. So we can execute the, the hidden.py, and we actually see that it prints uh, the argument we gave before, and now we can enter something. And it prints the key. So this is the very basic. Uh, keyboard input um, and we obviously want to put it in a function so we can uh, request password is what we'll call it and it also should validate if the password is correct so let's define the correct password keep in mind to always use the, the four spaces uh, before every line so the correct password might be uh, uh, center then depending on whether the, the input password is equal to the correct password we return true so it's, it's a one otherwise we return false so now we can actually use that to uh, in an if statement so uh, if request passwords then welcome to the hidden code and starts actually doing something whatever so this is only if uh, if it returns true so it goes into this function as we call it and then it gets the input from the keyboard stores it into the variable key and if the variable key is equal to the correct password variable returns true so if it's not true it returns false so let's have a look we, we execute it and we type something it doesn't do anything and we type the wrong password so if we type the correct password see that it's executed that quote-unquote hidden code um, so that's a simple way to get user input with a with raw input or in Python 3 we just input and we, we created a function we created a functionality that we can use in any Python program we want so in any Python program we can now secure it uh, one thing that you might notice is that um, is that it actually shows the key password that we're typing so there's a module called getPass uh, which hides the input so instead of raw input we might do get pass dot get pass which does the same but it doesn't uh, show the input um, hold on. it uh, it's actually hidden I'm typing but uh, the, the input is hidden which you might want in a password case um, 
Now instead of this uh, terminal things, maybe you want something more graphical. So we can um, we can use a graphical library which is called a TK inter. So let's just uh, import that. Import these modules for graphical uh, windows. These two, TK enter and TK simple dialog. Um, and we'll rebuild this to be a graphical uh, request. So this remains the same. And here we have to show instead of a terminal thing, a graphical window. Let's just make it a comment. Well, let's remove it altogether. Um, so this is actually required in all the graphical programs. You have to, to add these two if you're using Python 2. Python 3 I don't think it's necessary. And finally we ask the key in almost the same way as we had asked before. Once we, we run this, we get a nice graphical window where we can enter uh, the password. So the password might be uh, Santa. And you'll see that it just continues the, uh, the code we have uh, wrote as an earlier. And if we type the wrong password, nothing happens. So we simply added these, these lines and this line to instead show a graphical window to, uh, that asks a password. So if you're having troubles with that, you might have not, not have um, the TK installed. So you can use the sudo pip install python tk to install that.